The Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum awarded its Michael Collins trophies for lifetime and current achievements with a ceremony at the museum's Stephen F. udvar Hasse Center in Chantilly, Virginia. NASA's Mars Ingenuity helicopter team was recognized for current achievements in aerospace and technology. I think this truly demonstrates the power of what NASA can do and does, and frankly what this nation does when we have a challenge. Ingenuity rode to the surface of Mars attached to the belly of the Perseverance rover on February 18, 2021. Altimeter data confirmed. And several weeks later, on April 19th, the rotorcraft achieved the very first powered controlled flight on another planet. First flight of a powered aircraft on another planet. While Ingenuity arrived on Mars as a technology demonstration, NASA has extended flight operations through September. The historic rotorcraft has successfully completed 23 flights and counting and will continue supporting the Perseverance rover's upcoming science campaign, exploring the ancient river delta of Jezero Crater. Along the way, it will continue pushing its own capabilities to help inform the design of future Mars aerial vehicles. Oh my word, I am so excited to be here. The Smithsonian also honored Wally Funk with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Wally Funk and 12 other women pilots underwent spaceflight training in the 60s as part of an unofficial program, even outperforming the men, but were denied the chance to fly. Wally never abandoned her dream of going to space, and at 82 years old, that dream came true when she launched aboard the first crewed suborbital mission of Blue Origin's New Shepard capsule. A pioneer like Wally Funk will be the first woman on the surface of the moon. Isn't it an exciting time?